Have you heard this objection? It is too expensive. It's just outside of our comfort zone. We can't afford this. Can we renegotiate the price? Can we get optimized、uh, list? What is included in your services? Yes, it's a classic sales objection. And today, I invite you behind the scenes to show how I do my sales training with my client because my client, she is a brand strategist, and she sells or offers. Very sophisticated business, very sophisticated offer to very sophisticated customers. So, and one of her customers said, "Well, it is too expensive." So, let's dive in. Join me. It's going to be awesome and take a lot.、Notes. And they were still like, "Well, we have some of that work already completed ourselves, so maybe we could do." Something more a la carte. So I asked them, "What's your budget?"、Mm -hmm. And then they were like, "We need to go back and look at our numbers, and get back to you." Gotcha.、Um... I don't know if that was the right thing to say or not, but I mean, at the at the point where it's like, I'm like, I said six thousand dollars for two thousand dollars a month, and then they said they want to move forward and work together. I'm like I don't know. It's I feel like what people want is they want to be able to tap into me. Yeah. Because I was sharing like yeah I shared with them like the AI prompt that I created and they were like oh my gosh this is so valuable like you're really like you're really good. But we but when it comes to payment it's like.、Mm. So.、Um... Let's、uh, before we jump into prospecting because I want to do prospecting today because that this is important. Let's role play a little bit. So、um, you are your customer. I'm you. Like、um, so, I'm telling you yada yada yada. So the investment is twelve thousand dollars. Okay,、um, gotta be honest with you right now, Eugene.、Um... We're bootstrapped.、Um, we're self-funded, and、um, that's just that's a lot right now. Also, with some of the things that you talked about earlier in your program and your offering, like the brand stuff, the persona work, we have a team that's kind of like working on that. So, like maybe you could just like help. Like, is there just like an a la carte option or something that you might be able to offer me? Because I really see the value in what you're talking about, but just with the way that we're funded right now. Um, I'm just not seeing. I'm not seeing how we're going to be able to afford you. Hmm. Gotcha.、Uh, let me ask you something. Money aside, do you think it will bring you value? Do you think it is what you need right now? Money aside, if money was not on the table right now, if money was not on the table, absolutely. I'm sure they would have said that if I had said that. <laughs> And, what, and why is that? Why do you think I can help you? Um, you have a unique, you have a unique perspective in terms of messaging and how you're able to know how to bring these new categories. Like it's just things that we don't know. Um, like even when you talked about the go to market strategy, we said that we wanted to go to retail right away. But you said that you think that we are still too small for retail because there isn't、uh, known、um, the what did you call it the conscious unawareness I think that's what you've said Eugene yeah But, like problem unaware what, yeah yeah problem unaware that's essentially what I said to them I'm like. Your core consumer is problem unaware. They, you know, you、um, this was, you shared like some different options and ways for us to think about that. You also shared some goals or things that we should be thinking about in terms of scaling that we just didn't consider, and so、yeah. we think you'd be really valuable on our team because you clearly know things that we're still learning. Would you agree that、uh, in your journey you had a bunch of blind spots on the way? Yes, so many. I mean,、yeah. we've learned so much. Of course, yeah, absolutely. And、um, I see, person like Monique, whatever.、Uh, you said that there's some work that you have done. 
but also my concern for that work is that that work has been done considering the blind spots that you have. And that work. That's exactly it. Yes. That's why I don't want to do this half step because then I'm going to be able to, I'm going to end up doing all of the work. Yes. So like considering <laughs> that you have blind spots, how do you know that the, like whatever percentage of work that you created is working? Because honestly, like truthfully, if that stuff that you have already done was working for you, we wouldn't be on this call. You wouldn't be on retail right now. You would be figure out how to expand your influence right now. But you're not in retail right now. Let's be honest. And then and eighty percent of brands, they do the work. They think they do the work. They they think they have figured it out. But because of the blind spots, they never make it to retail. Sold. And you see what I did right now. Slow clap. That was good, man. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when I tell I'm good at sales, I'm good at sales. <laughs> that was really good. No, the repositioning. Like, if you set money aside, would you find value in the work that I'm doing? And then and why is that? Because why is they, that? They don't expect that. They think like, oh, yes, I'm so good. Like, Wait a minute. Why is that? What do you think I can help you? And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, why? Ah, uh, well, like because, and then they start selling themselves, and then you do rational drowning. They sell like, yeah, you've done fifty percent of the work yourself, but you are still here, and that work that you've done is not working for you because of your blind spots. The A couple of notes. So. I want you to rewind and pay attention to the tonality, the body language, and the questioning, and the education part, right? Because the tonality is really important because you want to, like, you are here to serve and you are here to help your prospect, right? So this is why when we see that a little reserved, a little kind of confused tone people relax and it's different from sounding unintelligent or not confident because like i'm confident but my tone are like and um and why is that um um so you implemented 50 percent by yourself you said right it's what you said right and you think that it would be enough. And then you start creating rational drowning the cost of an action. Why it is not the true. Like they think that they're good, but they're not good. So you're not convincing them. You are providing the data. You, pro you are providing education why it is needed. So I hope it helps. I'll follow me for more. Definitely subscribe if you're watching it on your own uh, YouTube and follow me for more. Follow me on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is where I play and LinkedIn is where I post a lot of value. So, and I will see you in the next video. All right.